Who Man Reviews. Today we have a beverage, one that is pretty unique. Well, it's coffee. But what kind of coffee? Monkey Paw Productions Coffee. Monkey Paw is a production company started by Jordan Peele. They have a growing list of productions to their name, ones that you've most likely seen or at least heard of. Well, they partnered up with the company Crenshaw Coffee and the Hot and Cool Cafe to bring us an unexpected product in the form of a beverage. Well, technically in the form of beans that you use to make the beverage with. Coffee beans. But anyway, QB Roll. It arrives in a 12 ounce package designed by with Monkey Paw branding all throughout along with the description of the coffee and the roast indicator. On the front it reads, Fine Colombian and Ethiopian Coffee Whole Bean. And on the back they provide details of the collaboration and the description of the taste. The coffee is characterized as a versatile and full body blend with a flavor profile of burnt caramel, 62% cocoa, and a cranberry orange scone. Sounds pretty unique to me. Now let's see them beans. As you can see through this beautiful slow motion B-roll. Get it? B-roll, B, beans, B roll, beans roll, never mind. Anyway, these are nicely roasted, dark brown, and smells like the beans are saying, grind me up and make me into coffee right now. Okay, beans, I hear you, I got you. And here is the coffee. Now that we have our coffee made, it's time to taste it. It tastes pretty, I don't know, because I'm not a coffee drinker. But you know who is a coffee drinker? My good friend, who also happens to be a coffee reviewer. So we're gonna go to her to give us an accurate breakdown on how the coffee tastes. Hey Jay, thank you so much for having me. This coffee, um, I'm excited. Monkey Paw, don't really know what's happening with Jordan Peele and his production company and collabing with a coffee brand, but I love it. We support black owned over here. So I went ahead and did the pour over grinding method because the coffee was sent in beans, so please tell your people that they have to grind it before they try to make it. It's important to note that. We did the pour over method here. I'm gonna pour just a little bit more. So we're gonna do what? Body, acidity, and flavor. All right, and just want to point out really quickly, um, I like to tell people, coffee will taste different depending on how you brew it, right? We have the pour over, we have the traditional method, so depending on how strong you like it, for me, I like to do the traditional method if I want something very, very strong. Pour over works just as well, but again, it may taste slightly different depending on how you brew it. So this is our monkey paw. One more time for people who may have missed it. Full body blend of Colombian Ethiopian beans with a flavor profile of burnt caramel, cocoa, and cranberry orange scone. Huh, let's go ahead and try. Hmm, okay, on the first sip I like. Let's do another one and give it a second for aftertaste. I like how this goes down. For a body, I'll definitely say it's full, but it's not dark. It's not on the far crazy end of it. If you don't like, you know, adding sweeteners or any type of creamers, I think you can definitely pour this in your coffee mug or in your cup and head out the door. But if you do like sweeteners or some kind of milk, or creamer, I think it's just as fine. Be careful with the creamers though, because sometimes it loosens up the coffee and then you feel like you're just drinking straight milk. I don't think you need too much for this one. So we're definitely gonna give it almost full body, but not completely there. When it comes to acidity, it's far, it's far, far, far from that. It's not that strong where you're like, whoo, we need to add some water to it. It went down easy for me. Again, this is pour over. It may be different if you do the traditional brewing method, like in your little coffee cup mug um, pot. But I think when it comes to acidity, um, you don't have any problems if acid is your concern. And flavor, I'm gonna take one more sip because I kind of have an idea of what I taste and what I don't taste, but let's give it one more. So 
So for sure, I taste the burnt caramel. The burnt caramel is there. But what I'm tasting is citrus, and then I just realized the cranberry orange scone. When I think scone, I'm thinking of pastry, right? So I'm not thinking like cake batter in a coffee, but I was thinking something more like um, heavy, flowery, like I thought it was gonna be very aggressive, but it's, it's not there. Caramel, citrus is what I'm tasting, and it kind of goes hand in hand with burnt caramel, cocoa, cranberry, orange scone. I'm not tasting the cocoa, but that's fine because it says it's only 62%. Again, on another try, I may taste the cocoa more than I taste the caramel the next time, or I'm gonna be like, ooh, this cranberry, orange scone is hitting. I like it overall, Jay. Thank you so much for having me join you on this video. I think it's important for us to learn what we're drinking and know what we're drinking. So monkey paw is definitely going to be in my cabinet and I hope that people will put it in their cabinets, kitchen cabinets as well. Well said. I appreciate you holding the people down. We'll see you later. Well, there you have it. A review on a unique beverage. Well, coffee. But what kind of coffee? Monkey Paw Productions coffee.